All right, guys, thanks for tuning into this one. Make sure you stay till the end because there's a little bit of a surprise if you've not been keeping up to date with the little teaser I put on Instagram the other night. But in this video, we are going to take a look at this aquarium from how it looked about five or six months ago when I first escaped the tank to how it looked about a week ago. Terrible tune. About a week ago when I took this down to steal the plants and the soil for my most recent scape and that'll be coming sometime soon be a whole video series on that so stay tuned for that but let's get this video going So this was the tank when I initially set it up. We used ADA Amazonia 2 for the soil, built it up with some lighting diffusers so we got the nice mounds and the hills before we put on the rocks. The rocks were then all locally sourced rocks and I especially liked the one in the centre here with all the lines going diagonally from right to left. Really, really liked this rock and that was definitely the centre point. This was how the tank looked once it was planted. We've got Monte Carlo throughout the foreground and we also use some dwarf hairgrass in there as well. Toward the back, we then add some S repens and some stems. We also add some water spray in the very back right as well, just to help with nitrates and all that good stuff when we first set up the tank. Overall, I was really happy with Escape and thought that it could definitely progress into something that I would be pretty proud of. We are also running CO2 in the, on this tank and that was from Aquatech of California. So be sure to check, check those products out down below if you've not checked them out already. We were just using a simple hang on the back filter. I had every intention of getting a canister filter at that time but things happened and you know we ended up just using the Aquaclear 30 or 50 I believe. Not quite sure which one but anyway it worked fine. We then add an Aquatop heater and that thing was really really good never had any issues with it and that kept the tank at a solid 78 degrees overall i was really really happy with this tank and it was great to see it progress stocking in this tank started with three neon tetras after some beneficial bacteria were added into the filter from a previous tank and the soil was also used in a previous 10 gallon tank as well that I had these in before I even set this up. These look to be doing pretty good. And in addition to these, we also had two Amano shrimp from a previous tank and then one Osinclus. And that was pretty much the stocking, really, really light. And pretty much from there, we just let the plants do the thing and progress from there. So this is then the tank after about five or six months. So as you can see by this point the tank was coming along really really nicely. The two Amano shrimp that we had in there doing the job, getting the algae, occasionally fighting over some wafers when I threw them in the tank. And all the plants seemed to be doing really good, especially the Monte Carlo that looked to be spreading really really nicely. And overall everyone in the tank looked really really good we'd added 10 more neon tetras at that point which took our stock into 13 we also had a 
a threadfin rainbow fish in there and also a praycox rainbow fish by that point we'd also added three or four snails and then also some shrimp in particular the orange shrimp who seemed to be doing good even though the rainbows would sometimes go after them and the tetra would actually sometimes go after them as well i've got a clip of a tetra on my instagram and maybe i'll input it somewhere in this video where the tetra were actually going after the shrimp as well but with all the dense growth in the back that you can see in the background of this shot they really had no trouble and had plenty of cover the threadfin rainbow fish looked absolutely awesome and so did the praycox rainbow really really like the praycox rainbow and having more of them is definitely in some current plans but the thread fin looked awesome as well those long flowing fins out the back there really really nice and the neons never skipped a beat in terms of the coloration in terms of anything i know some neons can be a little bit fragile sometimes but we never had any issues with these and as you can see the plant growth is absolutely lush we added some rainicky mini and that red in contrast to the green of the s repens and the monte carlo really really took off the tank so so overall i would say it was a massive success however there were always something about this tank that i didn't necessarily like one of them was that i thought i could have got way more growth and that i should have been getting way more growth out of the monte carlo and every water change had somehow or some way just not like how the how the tank was looking I could not argue with the stem growth, especially seeing as I had the CO2 diffuser in the back, that was definitely helping. But the Monte Carlo was really bugging me and overall I just wanted a, something slightly different in terms of escape and wanted to focus more on that plant growth. So that's essentially what we did. We kept all the rest of the equipment the same. We've still got the bubble counter, still got the aqua top heater, still got the aqua clear 50 filter on the tank super super basic and then for the lighting we kept with the finex 24 7 absolutely love this light really can't say enough about it really really powerful and it was looking good and i told you i had that footage <laughs> tetra after the shrimp crazy but yeah everything seemed to be going really really well but as i said i just wanted to change something so we changed it a little bit. We might have lost some of the lush growth, especially in the back here. And this was my favorite shot of this tank with the Crips and the Sagittaria and the stem plants just coming into it. And this is what we changed it to. Really simple scape. We've just got three or four rocks. I decided to change the rocks just because I wanted something a little bit darker to contrast the red especially of the Reineke Minute. We also added some crypts from a different tank because I needed them to grow a little bit and overall I was really really happy with this tank. So let's take a closer look at it and also a newer addition to the tank which is a Bolivian Ram. Make sure you stay tuned until the end because we've got a little teaser for you. See you on the next one.